Hello and welcome to Moho TV brought to you by Bench. We are here with the medalist. How are they? Very good, thanks. Very cold. Yeah, and yourself? Doing grand. <laughs> Are you excited for the after show itself? I mean, it's got a lot of buzz around it. It's got a decent crowd coming to it nearly every month. So, Yeah, it seems like a, it's a wicked venue. really like it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's getting wicked. Yeah, yeah. What was uh, 2008, if you could sum that up, how was that for you, for you as a band? It was the highest highs and the lowest lows. It was oh. a bizarre, well, the most bizarre year of my life probably, to, in lot, to music, from a musical point of view anyway. I know that you got signed to a record label and then they went bust through the recession, is that correct? Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were in the studio in London recording the rest of our album and uh, it was like it was dreamland we were in london recording in this massive studio with a really good producer and uh we were day in we'd done a song and our a r person came in and said sorry guys the record label's gone bust you guys got to go home so it was it was massively disappointing because we were there and obviously fulfilling a dream doing a record in london and stuff and then it was yeah it was gone <laughs> kind of like developed your character as a band then to kind of like have to go back to the drawing board and realize how difficult it is to get to those places I think it's I think it's made it I know it sounds a bit weird but I think it's made a bit it more enjoyable because it's ours again yeah. we're like when you have a, a, a record label and they're pumping money into it and you're kind of going sitting back and saying we'll do your thing it kind of doesn't feel like yours so much but when you get it back it's like great you know it's ours again so you know we've been re recently we've been um, doing this tour before Christmas we put an EP out which was free from a live gig that we did and we recorded that all and put it out for free and yeah I don't know it just it feels like ours again which is exciting and yeah yeah I guess it's good <laughs> Where do you feel most at home? Is it in the studio? Is it on stage? Or is it whilst you're writing? I think it's different for each one of us. I think Sp Sparky, our singer, he's, he loves being in the studio. And he lo loves producing and he produces other bands and stuff. Whereas for me, I just like being on stage, waving my arms around like a helicopter and l absolutely loving it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I guess I'm a, definitely someone who loves being on stage. Right. Um, but you know, a lot of our our, our great times together is um, just sitting in a, in a room together, um, trying out riffs or ideas and putting those things together. It's true, you can see She's nobody's future. She's nobody's future. She's only it always feels like we're a bit of the underdogs going to a new city no one knowing and it kind of feels like you go out there and you're like check this out it's as good as what you hear on our myspace so i think it does and lots of people say it does as well so that's why i love it so much because it feels like it delivers you know
for a, a Bristol band and there's a lot of good stuff going on in Bristol, I want to draw attention to the fact that Bristol's known for other things apart from band music, I guess. So we're trying to draw attention to the fact there's some good bands there and yeah, we're one of them, so. <laughs> We look forward to uh, proving yourself live on stage and living up to the music that you've created. Thank you for taking the time out for us. Pleasure. Medalists. Thank you. Thank you.